peel off later. It's going to be quite hot, especially into our interior. Now, downtown Los Angeles, you're into the 60s. You're in the 60s in Long Beach. You have some fog there, Santa Monica as well. 60s over in Burbank, but very clear skies over into our valley communities this morning. We have excessive heat warnings, though, and heat advisories to talk about. I mean, this is going to be out towards our inland areas mostly, and if you're at the coastline, quite cool. Now, excessive heat warnings and heat advisories in orange, they'll continue all the way through tomorrow, and both of those are just letting you know it's hot outside drink plenty of water take plenty of rest breaks don't overdo it and then the cloud coverage that we're seeing along the coast is that fog it's really getting low to the surface so visibility is down for you drivers down to about a quarter of a mile to half a mile of visibility that should lift though by the time we're heading into 9 10 o'clock today inland orange county about 91 degrees on the way and then over into areas closer towards our valleys and our ie those temperatures about 102 hot degrees we're talking about 75 for the coastline though mountains 82 and then those high desert spots getting up to about 104. All right, Les, we'll send it back over your way and then we're going to discuss the hot weather, how long it's going to last. It's going to be here a while. So we're starting out October on a toasty note. We are on our oh, way boy. to All some right. heating today. We have excessive heat warnings and heat advisories for this afternoon. It's 61 degrees though over into LAX right now as you get going for the morning and it's socked in very socked in over into areas of Irvine about 61. The Long Beach camera looks very similar to this. You just can't see through it. And then over in Santa Monica, you do have that layer of cloud coverage, but you have pretty good visibility right at the surface, about 61 degrees. So I don't think it's with you. you might want to uh, consider something you can zip on and zip off pretty easily because this afternoon we're going to be right back into some triple digit heat, especially out towards Ontario. While we're starting out at 66 degrees this morning, we're going to be about 100 later on today. Yeah, these oranges and magenta colors, it's going to be a hot day today. So we have heat advisories and excessive heat warnings stretching across most of our interior. Now we are not dealing with any heat advisories for Los Angeles or out towards the South Bay and then Orange County. You don't really see too much of that either, but it is going to be heating up in your area too. It's high pressure that's dealing with uh, the changes for us. This thing is really creating some big warmth for areas of Southern California, but not just Southern California. If you look at the entire West Coast, there are going to be excessive heat warnings and heat advisories up and down areas of California. It's 97 by Thursday, but then by Friday we warm up back to 100 degrees and so this heat wave is protracted. It's going to take some time to come back down to some cooler territory what back down hot temperatures. Average? I mean, just keep in mind that the reason why we put out these excessive heat warnings and heat advisories is just so you're not outdoors exerting yourself. You're taking plenty of rest breaks. Hopefully you're drinking plenty of water, listening to your body because these are the days where heat related illness degrees in Encino and then over to Lancaster and Palmdale about 104 degrees. I mean, these are really hot temperatures across Southern California. Then you look at this over to Santa Clarita, 107 degrees. One of the hot hottest spots today and sure Friday, it's going to be a total toasty. neutral pattern that sets up. I don't want to say that a low pressure system's coming in. It's not. It's just that our high pressure system is weakening a little bit and then we transition right back to 100 degrees, degrees on Sunday and Monday. But again, a long stretch.